All right, hello guys, how's it going? Welcome to our second installment of our winter forecast. It's been about a month since I made my first one and there's plenty of updates to go over in this video. Now, before I get into the video, I would ask that you do subscribe if you do think weather related content and also be sure to like the video and leave a comment down below with your location because I'm going to be going through those and answering as many of your comments as possible and giving you guys a custom forecast for your region. But again, you have to like the video and then leave a comment down below with your region. Now let's get straight into this video. First things first, we're taking a look at that precipitation forecast and we're taking a look at the Southwest down there where we are expecting below normal precipitation. This has been shifted a bit from our first forecast. We're expecting it to be a little bit flatter than we originally anticipated. So that is one of those bigger changes. Now we also have a moderate shade of that below normal precipitation expected here for the Southwestern United States. And you might be wondering, what does a moderate shade mean? What does the darker shades mean? It just means our confidence is higher. So for instance, we're getting into the moderate shade here of the below normal precipitation. That just means I'm more confident that that is going to be the case there for the Southwest in these darker regions, as opposed to those lighter regions that I've painted outside of there. So I hope that is clarifying enough. If you need any more information, be sure to comment down below and I'll be trying to answer those. Now let's go ahead and move on and take a look at some above normal precipitation. So starting out in the Northwest, which is a good change from what you've been experiencing this summer, uh, we are expecting above normal precipitation because we're going to be at a La Nina or potentially a La Nada, which means neither a El Nino or a La Nina. But regardless, both of those kind of favor some above normal precipitation for this region. So I am feeling pretty confident in that. This does extend through the northern Rockies and even into the northern plains. So those areas will be likely dealing with an active storm track. Now we also have a moderate shade of this area as well and the above normal precipitation and that's mostly for Washington, Oregon, Idaho, Montana, and Wyoming there. And that is our area where we're more confident in that above normal precipitation, like I said before. Now I do expect a lot of snowfall in here. Speaking of snowfall, we are going to be showing you guys our snowfall anomalies forecast later in this video. In our last winter forecast, we actually only uploaded that on the Patreon page today. We are releasing it to the general public. So that is very exciting as well. Stay tuned for that. Now we even have another above normal precipitation region and it's for the eastern United States. And this is really just basically the eastern third of the United States here expecting to get at least slightly above normal precipitation. Obviously this is our lightest shade which means our lowest confidence here. But we do have some more shades to show you guys in here but we're going to have to move on and show you guys that in just a moment. Now here is our moderately above average precipitation region and as you can see this is another very large region here. And the reason it's so large is because I can't really differentiate where I want to put it in there. I know it's going to be somewhere in there. So our confidence is moderate. I think the East Coast could be dealing with quite a bit of precipitation, especially if we're on the on the side of a neutral Enso more than a La Nina, which if you want to figure out what that means, you can check out our Winter Thoughts series. I have a playlist of those on our profile, so you can go check that out today on our channel. But basically, there's a big difference between the two and they cause different things during the winter. Regardless, I feel like there will be above average precipitation within this region for the most part. And we even have a third shade, which is our highest confidence possible here for the above normal precipitation. And this is mostly for the Ohio Valley and portions of the Appalachian Mountains there, portions of the Great Lakes as well. And generally, this is a storm track that has been pretty active throughout the last few winters. So I do expect that to be the case this winter. Now, what we're going to do here is take a look at our temperature forecast finally, which is very exciting. Here's our above average temperatures here, and we expect them to be mostly for the southwestern United States. Uh, typically, these areas mostly deal with below normal temperatures in an El Nino. That isn't going to be the case this winter, so that is why I'm pretty confident we're not going to have below normal temperatures for the southwestern region. We do expect at least a slight chance at above normal temperatures here in this kind of lighter orange shade for the four corner states and the southwest states as well. We even have a moderate shade of this above normal temperature region and that's for again the southwestern United States and that's where we're more confident in the above normal temperatures. 
Now let's move on to some of those below normal temperatures here. And first things first, we're taking a look at the slightly below normal temperatures, and it is a huge region because this extends from the northwest in through. I think that's mostly going to be due to that storminess up there. So as more storms than normal move through, that means more cloudiness, which usually means more cool than normal. Now, this area in the east is going to be mostly due to some Arctic blasts and some polar vortexes that I think are going to be able to be released into the eastern United States. This is gonna allow for far below normal temperatures. So let's just move on to our other shades of these below normal temperatures. First things first, our moderate shade of below normal temperatures now. This extends through the north central United States down into the central United States, the southeast, the Gulf states, the northern regions of those Gulf states at least, the Ohio Valley, the Great Lakes, and even the northeastern and mid-Atlantic states of the United States. So basically most of the eastern half of the country I do expect below normal temperatures here. Now, the interesting thing is we also have a far below normal temperature region here. Uh, this is our third shade of the below normal temperatures, which is pretty rare. Uh, but as you can see for the Dakotas in through the upper Midwest into the Ohio Valley and the Great Lakes, we're all expecting to see below normal temperatures. This is the highest confidence I could have. I feel very good about this. Obviously, we will see my confidence tab at the end to compare because... Uh, my confidence tab is going to show really how confident I am in all of this. So we'll see that at the very end of the video. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to move on and take a look at that snowfall chance forecast, which again, I didn't release in my last winter forecast. I instead uploaded that on the Patreon page. Now I'm going to release it to you guys finally, and then we're going to get into that overall forecast. Now, here is our below normal snowfall, and this is obvious for the Southwest. If you're seeing above normal temperatures, and if you're seeing below normal precipitation, it's pretty obvious that there's going to be below normal snowfall chance. Now you might be wondering, Southern California is in here, Southern Arizona, why are these regions uh, in the below normal snow chance? They never see snow anyway. Well, it's snowfall chance. So basically my logic here is that technically there's a chance of snow anywhere. It's just a very low percentage. For instance, we've seen snow in the Bahamas before. Search it up. It has happened. So there is a certain percent chance and we're basically forecasting whether it's a below normal chance or an above normal chance based on your average chance anyway. I hope that makes sense and it's not too confusing. So we're expecting below normal snowfall chance here for the southwest. Now for the northwest, we expect above normal snow chances because that active storm track coming through there in slightly below normal temperatures is certainly going to lead to more chances at snowfall. Obviously, the eastern half of the country here with the below normal temperatures and the above normal precipitation, that is a recipe for above normal snow chances. And certainly, we do expect that for this region. And we even have a higher shade here of this snowfall chance. So this is the even further above normal snow chance region for a lot of the Gulf states. Obviously, they're not very likely to see snowfall anyway, especially down there in Miami as well. Uh, but the chance is going to be above normal from what is typical. And it has snowed there before as well. So there is a chance. <laughs> so as we bring this further northward, also the Mid-Atlantic, Ohio Valley, and New England states are all included in this as well. Let's just move on and take a look at that exciting overall forecast. And we're going to start out in the northwestern United States. Rainy and cooler here for Washington, Oregon, and Idaho. Maybe even some snowfall for some of these regions. It does happen from time to time. And I do expect that to be more possible than normal here this year. We see typical snow for the Rockies. They're going to see a ton of snowfall regardless of what kind of winter it is. And that's what I'm forecasting. Dry for this tan region. We see warmer and dry for this orange region. So for California, Nevada, and then even in through Arizona. Uh, so warmer than normal and dry as well. Near normal for this brown region down there for New Mexico and Texas as well. Uh, basically near normal precipitation and near normal temperatures. So it's going to be pretty close to what is typical for you guys. Snowy there for portions of Colorado, Kansas, Nebraska, and Wyoming as well. We see polar vortex up there for the north central United States. I do expect the polar vortex to be possible this upcoming winter. Uh, I think that certainly could be a feature. And typically, your coldest winters with the most polar vortex chances is going to be in a neutral ENSO winter, and we do expect that to be possible. Now, much colder than normal down here for this kind of purplish region, just south of the polar vortex region, it's just a lighter purple shade. So that's going to be for mostly Kansas, Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, much colder than normal temperatures. Winter battle zone for this pink region, and that basically just means there could be rain, there could be ice, there could be snow, and it's going to be a lot of mixed storms like that. A lot of rainfall too. I would say mostly like 80% of the storms are just going to be rain, and then 20% will feature something like ice, snow, sleet, 
you know, it's going to be a battle zone between all the different precipitation types. Frequent storms down here for this lighter green region. Uh, that is going to be a stormy region as these potential nor'easters develop down here. People don't know this, but in La Niñas, we typically do not see a lot of nor'easters, but in neutral ENSOs, it is very likely. So if we do see more of a neutral ENSO winter, that is a possibility to see a lot of nor'easters this upcoming winter. Speaking of nor'easters, huge nor'easters are possible for the East Coast this upcoming winter, which could mean huge snowstorms for the East Coast as well. We will be watching that possibility very closely here on Direct Weather throughout the winter, obviously. Worst of winter for that red region, I do expect the snowiest conditions and the biggest snowstorms to hit this red region. And finally, active lakes there for that white region. I do expect the lakes to be in full force effect there. They're experiencing some above normal temperatures right now, which should be warming up the lakes quite nicely. And that could lead to some above average lake effect chances later on in the late fall and in through the winter. Anyway, for our confidence tab today, we're at a three out of six. Obviously, this is a very long range forecast, so our confidence is on the lower side of things. For today's comment of the day, I asked you guys, how do you hope this upcoming August goes? Because yesterday was our August forecast. You can check that out right now on our channel. Paul L said, I wish this cooldown lasted the whole August. I can't tolerate the heat any longer. Well, good for you because September, October, and November are just around the corner, and obviously that means it will be getting cooler. So the end is in sight, my friend. For today's patron highlight of the day, I want to thank you all for supporting the channel, but especially our Platinum patrons. John Bembenek, James Wade, Dovey Nagel, Little LePan, and Donna Carnes. Alongside our Diamond patrons, Bill Roberts, Marcus Connolly, Noah Harley, Michael Cotalesa, Cat Bite, Charles Tennant, Cindy Klein, Mark J, Luke Vallejo, Gary, John Colisi, Dwight Phelan, and Stephen Crenenthal. If you would like to be a part of this exciting patron end screen of the day, you can do so by joining our very awesome Patreon page in the description and in the pinned comments down below. I would also like to thank our channel members, Hair Farms 1 and Cat Bite as well. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to destroy the like button, leave a comment down below to help that YouTube algorithm out and to get a custom forecast. And also be sure to subscribe if you like weather-related content. I will see you guys in the next video.